Probably you already know the layered architecture. Now we will represent a very similar architecture called tiered architecture. The main difference is that the layers in the tiered architecture are located in separate physical machines. Let's remember the example from the layered architecture lecture. As you can see, we have the presentation, business logic, data, and other layers. The layered architecture doesn't tell us where these layers are located. They might be installed on a single machine. The tiered architecture might have the same layers, called tiers, but these layers are installed on the different physical machines. In this picture, the web tier is similar to the presentation layer, the business tier is similar to the business layer, and the data tier is similar to the data layer. Let's investigate shortly the example of a tiered architecture provided by Microsoft. If you follow the links, you will find additional learning materials regarding tiered architecture. As you can see, there are several folders. Two of them are dedicated to code and one folder for deployment scripts. It looks like a two-tier architecture, but in fact, it is a three-tier architecture. Let's take a look at the deployment script. For our convenience, the tags were added to indicate which resources belong to the appropriate tiers. So, the data tier uses an SQL server database for data storage. The application tier uses the voting data solution. And the presentation tier uses the voting web solution. Let's take a look at these solutions. The voting data solution implements API for voting data management. As we can see, it uses MVC pattern to handle the requests. The voting web solution provides the user interface. It has some static programming codes, such as JavaScript libraries, CSS code. Also, it uses MVC to generate HTML that is served to the user. Let's summarize this lecture. The tiered architecture shows how system is organized into physical layers. Tier is a physical structuring mechanism for the system infrastructure. It is a comparatively simple architecture and there are many simple web applications implemented this way. The architecture allows high performance, reliable applications because of scalable tiers. The monolithic design prevents the independent deployment of features. Also, it might be difficult to manage multi-tiered solutions. Thank you for watching.